morning. Governor Carney, Mayor Przicki, Odyssey Charter School Operations Officer Ricardo Stekich, Dean of the Greek Program, Dr. Maria Mateo, Ma Marina Mateo Vacos, the Vac Mateo Vacos, that's the first time I've ever screwed it up. <laughs> Board President Josiah Walcott, President of the Wilmington Chapter Number 95, Michael Clazaris III, children, parents, and teachers of the, of the school and guests, welcome. 198 years ago today, Bishop Yermanos of Patras raised the flag of the revolution at the monastery of Iyalavra near Calabrita and signaled the beginning of the end of nearly 400 years of Ottoman Turkish subjugation and oppression. The battle cry, Eleftheria y Thanatos, freedom or death, became the motto of the revolution. After over 10 years of battle, struggles, and many setbacks, Greece ultimately became an independent country. Forward 60 years, and Wilmington has its first Greek immigrants, the Chagaris brothers, Panayotis and James. There is no record of them living here, only oral tradition passed down from the early immigrant settlers. But there is a name that arrived in the early 1890s that is known in Wilmington to this day, Gavadis. John Gavadis came to this country in 1892. Two years later, he founded the family business. His first location was at 4th and Walnut, then he moved to 4th and Market, where he introduced to Wilmington the latest rage, the ice cream soda. The business was renamed in 1898 to Gavadis Chocolates and Luncheonette. In the 19-teens, it moved to its present location at 800 Market Street. Others followed John Gavadis. The names might be familiar to you, might not be, but they are to the Greeks. Boynes, Saris, Haldis, Kremitis, and Tarabikis or just a few. Many opened restaurants, but John Gavadis was on to something. In the 1922 Wilmington City Directory, there were at least a half a dozen Greek-owned confectioners, candy shops, in the city. During the Great Depression, he formed United Candy so that the confectioners could survive by pooling their resources to get better prices on the supplies they needed to create their products, thus ensuring their survival. In the 1920s, John Gavadis was well-connected and a true leader of the Wilmington community at large. He was president of Citizen Savings Bank, had real estate holdings, and continued the family candy business. He was Barbayani, Uncle John, to the Greek community, the person you went to for guidance and, when needed, help. On February 14, 1926, John Gavadis, those aforementioned gentlemen, and another 20 men formed a Wilmington chapter number 95 of the Order of Ahepa. American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association. He served three years as its first president. AHEPA was formed four years earlier in Atlanta, Georgia to help combat discrimination and assimilate the newly arrived Greek immigrant while combating bigotry and hatred directed at them by the Ku Klux Klan. AHEPA's mission is to promote the ancient Hellenic ideals of education, philanthropy, civic responsibility, family, and individual excellence through community service and volunteerism. You'll understand shortly how all, all that I've been saying so far today is going to tie together. Sometime during his term as president of Wilmington's Ahepa chapter, John Gavadis convinced the city fathers to raise the Greek flag over the new city hall on March 25th in commemoration of Greek Independence Day. Sometime in the 1960s, that annual tradition stopped. Today, we hope to rekindle that tradition. Today's celebration is particularly gratifying because you will hear the national anthems of the United States and Greece presented by students of the Odyssey Charter School. The E in AHEPA, as I mentioned earlier, stands for educational. In 2004, members of AHEPA had the boldly creative idea of a, developing a school with math mathematics and science taught in a Greek language immersion model. In 2006, the doors of the school opened. I'm certain that our ancestors would be in awe of what their descendants have created, 1,800 students and growing. The keystone E in AHEPA is well represented. You'll learn more about that from the Dean of the Greek Program shortly. At this time, it gives me great honor to introduce to you the Governor of the State of Del Delaware, John Carney. Governor? Thank you very much. It's good to be here with all of you. I have a proclamation, which I'll read in a, in a minute, but I first want to welcome the, the little children here from the Charter School. Welcome to uh, the government complex here in, in your city of Wilmington. One of the really uh, fantastic things about being a, an elected public official 
is you have the opportunity to attend events like this and learn about things that you had no idea about before. And so it was great to hear, where is I'm behind you, behind you <laughs> that uh, history of the, of the Greek population here in our state. Obviously, uh, for those in recent times, we're familiar with the contributions of Greeks in the greater Wilmington and Delaware community. But I had no idea that they've been here since the early 1800s and that uh, the Gavados that I know as the confectioner in the restaurant not too far from here uh, was the leader of that, uh, of that community for so many years. It's also a reminder that here in, in Wilmington and Delaware and in the United States of America, we are a state and a nation of immigrants and that those immigrants uh, we've welcomed, uh, some uh, more welcoming than others and it's uh, frankly a really important uh, issue for for us today. So I'm delighted to be here to participate in the, uh, a, uh, the raising of the Greek flag here to restart an old tradition that went away in the 1960s and we're bringing it back in 2019. And with that, I'd like to read this proclamation in observance of Greek Independence Day, whereas Greek Americans have contributed to the state of Delaware since the late 1800s, and whereas in hopes of a more prosperous life, the Greek immigrants turn hopeful eyes toward the promising shores of Delaware and the United States of America, and whereas Greek immigrants played a large role in the growth of the city of Wilmington through their work in many important institutions and businesses, including the Holy Trinity Church, now the Artisy Charter School, Gavados Candies, and the annual Greek Festival. And whereas the Greeks have settled throughout the city of Wilmington and the state of Delaware and continue to make significant contributions to our communities and our state. And whereas Greek Americans are valued for all that they have brought to the first state. And we are proud to honor their rich heritage today. Now therefore we, John Carney Governor and Bethany Hall Long, Lieutenant Governor, do hereby declare March 25th, 2019 as Greek Independence Day in the state of Delaware and call upon all citizens to observe this day by celebrating the contributions of Greek Americans to our state and nation with appropriate ceremonies and activities signed by John, myself, John Carney Governor, and Bethany Hall Long, Lieutenant Governor. That's okay. And now the, the mayor of Wilmington and my old friend, Mike Prezicki. I was going to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here, Michael. Um, it's, uh, it's so easy in my mind to celebrate uh, the Greek community. We have, um, you get impressions of various communities. There's when you think about the Greek community, there is this richness, there is this togetherness, there is a burning pride that you feel among Greek members of the members of the Greek community. There is nothing more aspirational, entrepreneurial in this community. Striving, striving for excellence is a sense you get in every school. Look at our cherished little ones here. Somehow, it really frustrates me that I know they all get A's and I never could. You know that's a but no, that's what we all know about the great contributions of Greeks uh, in our in our Western culture and in the history of Greece. In a sense, in a sense, we're all Greeks, you know, whether you want us or not. I mean, really, we all we share from the great, rich traditions of, of the Greek people, and it's uh, one we all for such a small country we all take such a big part of our self-image away from Greece. So it's pretty easy for us to stand up here and uh, welcome this. Greeks continue to participate in our in our economy around here. When I come in every day, Angel Sionis is building these beautiful apartments right up on Pennsylvania Avenue every day. We walk over to Terra right over here where the best the best chicken sandwich is served by uh, the Ristopoulos's, you know, Elenia and George Ristopoulos. So, Greece, uh, you're everywhere and we love you for it. So I have a proclamation as well. I won't read the entire thing because in large measure it, it um, 
it is similar to what the governor said. But I also want in the whereas clause, it is fitting that this year's 198th anniversary of Greek independence is celebrated in the first city of the first state so that free people everywhere can honor those who struggle to bring self-government back to the homeland of democracy. Be it hereby known to all that Michael S. Brzezicki, mayor of the city of Wilmington, proclaims Monday, March 25th as Greek Independence Day. Uh, it encourages citizens of the city and around the region to celebrate the ancient Greek ideals which continue to inspire citizens around the world. We also take time in this special day to honor Wilmington Greek families past and present and thank them for their contributions to the culture and rich development of our city signed this day, the 25th day of March, Michael Kuzicki. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Governor Carney, and thank you, Mayor Kuzicki. So now some brief remarks from the Dean of the Greek Program at the school, Dr. Marina Mathildakis. Honorary Governor John Garney, Mayor Michael Brzezinski, Michael Klizaras, the Operational Manager of OCS, Ricardo Stuckert, Josiah Walcott, President of the Board of OCS, Michael Klizaras, IHEPA President, good morning and welcome. As the Dean of the Greek Program at Odyssey Charter School, I am deeply honored to be attending this beautiful ceremony today which commemorates the 198th anniversary of the Greek independence. I'm representing here OCS, which is a school founded by the IHEPA, and it is based on the principles, on the values, on the heritage of Greece, the Hellenistic values. As such, the school promotes not only the study of the Greek language, but the study of the Greek history and the study of the Greek civilization. OCS aspires to infuse those universal values in its curriculum, in its students, in its faculty, by designing and implementing, as you very well know, an educational model which is unique because it tries to balance, it manages, it has managed to balance the Greek and the American educational values. The English Greek Immersion Program that was launched last year, for the first time, managed to do that in a very balanced way. This model, this educational model, is the epitome of this integration, a balanced combination, a synthesis of Greek and American educational standards. All of us working at OCS, staff, faculty, at the operations, everybody, feel extremely proud to be able to offer this unique opportunity, this unique educational model to students of any ethnic and cultural background. Our school is represented here, not only by me, of course, but members of the governing board, of its board, by its teachers, by its students and their families. And of course, we have here the Greek choir Unfortunately, not everybody made it here today, but because everybody rehearsed for days in order to be here, I will acknowledge the names of the students who participate in the Greek choir. They are going to sing the American and the Greek national anthems, and we have here Jackson Hayes, Brandon Teague, Margaret Karasik, Avi Martiniak, Aubrey Darmstadt, Becca Jones, Ava Neal, Wengel Hailu, Jay Patel, Sinclair Artumus, Chloe Quack, Kate Ferrato, Analia Torres, Eva Nicholson, Andy Madala, Madison Kahn, Lily McLaughlin, Noah Valentine, Emma Allo, and Stomatis Russos. Thank you so much.
just as we wrap this up, just wanted to remind you that the Greek Festival is less than three months away, June 4th to the 8th. Don't forget that. Uh, free downtown shuttle bus every weekday for lunch. Great food, hospitality, music, and cultural experiences. We hope to see you there. A special thank you to the mayor's office. Where did John go? There he is. And John Rago and, and the staff for putting this together for us. And finally, in closing, actually the governor kind of touched on this a little bit earlier. No, it was Mike. The mayor. What did I say? You'll hear shortly. <laughs> uh, in his poem, Alas, the, the English romantic poet Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote, We are all Greeks. Our laws, our literature, our religion, our art have their roots in Greece. Thank you for joining us today for our celebration. And basically what Shelley said, it's your celebration too. Thank you so very much. Thank you.